This was a tough case for prosecutors, but I sat down with those prosecutors and talked about all of it. We sat down for like an hour and a half almost, and all anybody's talking about is one word. Hour and a half interview, one word, but that's what I want to talk to you about initially. We do one word every night here on After Dark, so I want one word from our experts tonight about Prosecutor Angela Corey's one word that she used to describe George Zimmerman. That word, murderer. Tanya Miller, one word to describe that one word. Heartfelt. Eric Johnson. Disingenuous. John Manwellian. Unprofessional. Joey Jackson. Wishful. Gloria Allred, one word to describe Angela Corey's one word. Outrageous. Yale Galanter. Disrespectful. Ryan Smith, one word to describe that powerful one word. Bold. All right, I'm going to pick out one juror to give me one word to describe Angela Corey's one word. Juror number five. Juror number five. Passionate. Passionate. Strong we, words, strong Vinny. Word. We have to talk about this. Usually one word, we go away, but this is too important of a word. I want to start with you, Glory Allred. You said outrageous. That's right, Vinny. Uh, that is uh, a, a word that the prosecutor should not be speaking at this time. George Zimmerman was acquitted by a jury. The job of a prosecutor is to seek justice, not to win, and not to not accept the jury's decision. The, he, she should not be accusing him of a crime for which he has just been acquitted. What do you guys think? Was it outrageous or is it no. legit? I mean, she charged him with murder, so she obviously thinks he's a murderer. Absolutely. Look, she had been under fire ever since God knows when about the decision to charge this man with murder. She had gone through this entire trial while the defense was on the news every other day, accusing them of all kinds of outrageous things. And what everybody was criticizing her for was, why'd you charge this guy with murder when the evidence doesn't support it? I think she's saying when she says that, honestly and from the heart, Look, I believed it when I charged him. I believe it today. And just because the jury said not guilty does not mean he's innocent. And we've heard defense attorneys, pundits all over TV saying exactly that same thing. I think that this word disingenuous applies because at no, no point during the trial did they put forth a theory that he was an actual murderer. They put forth more of a theory that he was a liar but not a murderer. I think millions of people disagree with that. Millions of people watch this trial and absolutely think that there was sufficient evidence to support that he's a murderer, which is why people are filling the streets right but, now. However, in those outrage. people were not on the jury. They were not selected to be on the jury. And obviously, those are not the people who supported the decision right now. Her word as being a murderer does not does not take into consideration the numerous flaws and problems that they have. So with you're the saying they never you're, you're saying they never had a chance. Let me go to Yale Galanter. Yale, you're down in Florida. That's where you practice law. What do you think of this one word? Listen, I think her comments and the other prosecutors' comments were disrespectful, unethical, and they didn't appreciate the work and effort that this jury put in. Listen, there's a set of rules. Everybody played by the set of rules. They lost. They're being sore losers. This case, as you know, Vinny, this case should have never been brought. For them to still call him a murderer and think they had a shot at this is just absurd. Joey Jackson, how about from your perspective when you heard that one word? You know what? I do think it's irresponsible. I think that you can't fan the flames, particularly in a, with a case of this magnitude. I think she was being wishful, but sh her job was to turn those wishes into reality. Apparently, she didn't do it, and I think her job as a prosecutor is to respect the process, respect the system, and ultimately, you know, call for calm and peace, not still call him a murderer after they tried their case and were unsuccessful in doing so. In her press conference, though, Joey, she did call for that calm and peace. And again, 